Give a little bit of acceleration here. Oh yeah. You can tell that four-wheel drive system just uh, gets you in there. Yeah, it's got some good strong and it doesn't feel heavy by any means. Wow, this thing feels nice. Oof, yeah. Good morning everybody, welcome back. This is Peter. In today's video, we're gonna get to drive and review this 2023 Ford Maverick XLT. Now before we go, I wanna give a big shout out to Barto Ford for allowing me some time with this Ford Maverick. Big thank you to Tim and all their team and I'll put their information and a link to the website in the description well, below. On. Here we have this 2023 Ford Maverick XLT. Now for 2023, there are three trims that you can get with this Maverick. So of course, starting with the XL, that starts just over $24,000. So it's a pretty good bargain considering it's a truck. Uh, the next option, of course, you got the XLT, as this one is here. And then of course, you got also the Lariat model, which is a higher end trim for the Maverick. And you can also get the trimmer package with the Lariat as well. I believe also with the XLT, uh, that's just basically an off-road, more performance-oriented off-road package that you can get with the 2023 Tremors, which is a new package for 2023. This one here is finished off in Area 51, which is a fantastic color. Of course, everybody knows that Area 51 is a secret base that existed, that the government said it didn't exist, but that's another story for another video. But really cool looking uh, color, really like it, really goes, works well with the lines of this Ford Maverick. And inside we have a dark cloth interior that we'll look at in just a few moments. So as you can see guys, this one here equipped with the 17 inch wheels. So there's really nice aluminum wheels. This one wraps around 235 millimeter Falcon Wild Peak off-road all-terrain tires, which is really nice, really cool looking the way it is. You can see guys, there's the tire and off-road off -road tire and wheel package that this Maverick has, really, really nice. It's kind of similar to what you get with the Charmer package as well. Of course, the Charmer gives you a little higher suspension and the uh, drivetrain of the uh, Bronco Sport Badlands, which is a little higher suspension, little retuned re shocks for off-roading and all that good stuff. But this is still a really nice looking pickup. Now, of course, as you all know that this Ford Maverick is based out of the Ford Escape Bronco Sport chassis. As you can see there's one behind us right there. So it's basically the same type of size, a very small truck if you want to look at it in person. And it's very compact. I think this is one of the best, you know, size comparison, this is a very utilitarian pickup truck because obviously it's very small, fits in a lot of garages and has a lot of abilities that you can add. This one, I think this one has, I would say about 80% of the ability so of say a ford f-150 tremor because obviously this is smaller but obviously this is you know not everybody likes this type of small trucks but this is still very very utilitarian now this is the only way you can get your mavericks and basically a four-door or crew cab with a four and a half foot bed this is the only way that ford makes them but coming around here in the back as you can see guys this is equipped with the bed extender as well really love the way the lines of this maverick has really nice i love the back bumper here as you can see the maverick name stamped into the back door really really awesome what ford did considering the styling of this one here as you can see guys the color really shines here when the sun hits it the fx4 the wheels just really really works well now checking out the bed area of this maverick for just put the door down there's no automatic door release on this one just all, everything's manual so here we have the four and a half foot bed you can carry up to 1400 pounds i'll put us all that information for you guys up on the screen 1400 pounds is what the payload capacity is on this mavericks and also depending of course what engine uh your tow rating will carry but but uh, this one here being the xlt model with some extra packages you got also of course you got some LED lighting and you also got a 400 watt inverter here as you can see to plug in all your tools and whatever not you need so a really really cool little pickup truck even though the bed is smaller if you have to carry something like very long or large it's probably won't work but if you have business that you're carrying things that are more in boxes and stuff there's a great pickup size for those type of uh, work jobs and type of uh, businesses but if you raise the door of the bed it's pretty light pretty really nice bed there is i don't see a backup camera here there's a backup camera has to be right here there we go it's a backup camera so here that is equipped with the tow package you can tow up to four thousand pounds with this maverick if you have the hybrid engine you can only tow about two thousand pounds depending on the model so depending on the engine four thousand pounds or two thousand pounds 
towing capacity with the four. Uh, coming around on this side, as you can see, we have the bed here with the extender, really nice. You can see a little better look at the four and a half foot bed. This, there's a bit of protection here on the top on this side here, a little bit of plastic. Of course, you got the manual back window here. That's also an option. You got some hooks in it as well. Really nice. I really love the way this kind of stands and the wheels look really nice. Really awesome what Ford has done. Of course, this one has to mention this, off with the, this option up with the option of sunroof, which is very rare to see on a Ford Maverick. All the Ford Mavericks that I've seen have never been equipped with a sunroof. This is the first one I see. Let's raise the hood of this Ford Maverick and get our little stick because this has got no hydraulic assistance at all. Here we have the two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine, EcoBoost engine. This is producing 250 horsepower, 277 pound feet of torque. This is going through the all wheel drive, into the intelligent all wheel drive system that this Ford Maverick has or is equipped with. And of course, that's going through an eight speed automatic transmission. Now, of course, as I mentioned, that all wheel intelligent all wheel drive system kind of detects if you need the real the real drive thing or not that's a very intelligent system that it has very similar to what the ford escape has and also the ford bronco sport has so for 2024 is going to be the base engine as ford has kind of changed things around for 2024 the hybrid engine that you get there also the other power plant as i mentioned is the 2.5 liter hybrid power plant you get with about 191 horsepower that gives a lot more fuel mileage but that's engine is going to become now an option a pay option for 2024 this engine is going to become the base engine for the 2024 mavericks that once they come in so that's going to be a thing i just wanted to let you know but a fantastic little engine a lot of power a lot of little power this thing scoots to 60 miles an hour in six seconds so it's a pretty quick engine so there we go there's your power plant for this ford maverick let's go ahead and put the hood down it's getting pretty hot here and uh there we go all right coming here to the sticker of this ford maverick we have a 2023 Ford Maverick XLT all-wheel drive, Area 51 color with the what they call the Navy Pier medium slate trim, which is kind of the dark gray trim with a bit of red stitching, really, really cool interior. Now, of course, this one here starts at $24,855. Now, this one here has a lot of options. You have the remote start system, 170. The FX4 package is $800. The tow package is $745. The luxury package for the XLT is $1,300, no, excuse me, $1,700. The moonroof is about just, uh, just under $1,000. We got the bed extender for $370, as you can see see one right there we have also the full size spur for 115 dollars we have the sliding rear window with for 155 the splash guards 180 and the 17 inch wheels that we have on this one are 800 this uh just under 800 dollars as well for a total price of 35,530 dollars for this ford maverick xlt now as i mentioned this one here was special order so unfortunately or a gentleman didn't take care didn't uh, take delivery but uh, since this is a pretty good option one and really it's really a rare one with a sunroof Ford uh, Barter 40 let's have a little bit of price adjustment and that's a $4,000 adjustment. So the total price for this one here is $39,530 for this Ford Maverick, which I don't think is for the part of 4,000, but they're not easy to find. All right, let's go and take a look at the interior of this Ford Maverick. Really, really cool for the Ford has done. I really love this interior. Uh, as you can see, this is kind of like a dark turquoise bluish color to the interior panels. Now you got a mix of light gray here, a bit of orange accents, and there's a bit of truck behind me, guys. I apologize for that, but really, really cool for Ford has done. And it's all hard plastic, but I really like the texture of this. It's really nice. And as you can see here, we have that dark cloth here with a two-tone dark cloth, a little bit of light gray here, and of course, it got a like orangey red stitching there which is really really cool raise the seats cup as you can see guys a little more room there which is really nice you also can bring the seats down as well oh there was my plate there but you, you can see, see there's really cool so this one of course it has with several formats that are kind of new in this truck it's kind of small here in the back not a lot of room let's go ahead and get in and see what kind of room we're talking about Eric. now the size is a tiny little bit tight you can feel it uh this feel a little bit tighter than for example the ford escape or the bronco sport plenty of room, plenty of headroom as i have here i'm about 5'11. the the knee room is a little bit short i got about still got about an inch left the seats a little bit further back might be a little bit further back than usual but it's still pretty comfortable as well the seats are nice and comfortable they're hard but they do feel comfortable comfortable this and this cloth feels fantastic i like the ruggedness of it feels like it's gonna last and can handle some some dirt we have a single pocket here no pocket here on the side down here in the center console we have two usb connections and a house prong as you can see that which is pretty cool nothing else no ac outlets or anything like that as you can see guys we have the interior of this maverick now, as i mentioned this one has a sunroof which is a really cool option not easy to find one with a mat with a sunroof you have to kind of order one as this one was ordered but unfortunately did not take delivery but as you can see got a center armrest here as well to put up your drinks and stuff there really really nice i love the way it feels i really love the two-tone with the orange stitching we got a speaker there as you can see and the visibility is pretty nice as well here in the back and of course i said you got the manual window here that's a few hundred dollars extra so but overall an excellent interior pretty good size room but I mean, especially for this kind of pickup you can't expect it to be as big as an f-150 this is a really small pickup but this is what ford has kind of meant and this is what ford has done very unique pattern really unique touches and i love what ford has done to the uh 
to the interior of this Ford Maverick. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get to the front. Now that we have some sunlight here, as you can see that dark turquoise blue dash color. Now the sun goes away there as soon as I say that, but it really looks good. I really love the, the color of the interior. It really likes kind of pops and especially look, looks good with this area 51 color. Really in soft leather materials here where your elbow rest. We got I really love the contrast of that light blue, excuse me, light gray. Kind of looks like it's got a little dark, uh, a little bluish kind of. Uh, texture to that but it's really nice we get a bit of orange accent where you grab your grab handle will be got a control strip for the windows and mirrors really, really nice the way that is a little more pocket area here in the bottom now coming here to the main part of the driver's seat really nice i love these seats i really love the texture of that cloth and the two-tone really works well coming here to the rest of it, we got a leather covered steering wheel which is really nice bit of a uh, aluminum trim there to get a little more some of that plastic a little part plastic but here we got some of that blue pattern here that turquoise blue with a bit of light light gray we got a bit of orange accents here on your ac outlets and here the rest of it, we got just better brake trailer control controls for your lights and all the switches that are really really cool we do have a manually adjustable and tilted telescope and steering wheel and as you can see you got the rest of it here really really cool interior of this ford maverick low let's go ahead and uh, get see, inside really really cool interior the way this is very much different since uh, say the Ford bronco but i really like what ford has done good visibility especially with this panoramic sunroof i really like what ford has done it's very similar to the bronco sport but of course this is a little bit different inside here let's go ahead and uh, get this engine started since we have quite a bit of heat from florida get some ac going okay, i got the key here with me and it's more of a of course you still get a key to insert this is don't have the uh, start stop button you have to do it more of an old school style so let's go ahead and get our key inserted and get this maverick started so there we go get the two liter engine going and get some ac going because it is quite hot right now it is 97 fahrenheit as of the moment right now and the humidity in florida is just steaming hot so before we go on guys uh let's go ahead and see if we can here already have this engine a little bit warmed up and as you can see the uh the even the fan has started let's hear this engine You can hear a little bit of the turbo whistle, but it's really cool. Really awesome little two liter power plants that these things are equipped with. So, all right, let's go ahead and uh, close the door, get some more. It's a very nice cabin. I really like what Ford has done all the way. All the ergonomics are really nice. Of course, you got a lot of little different colors. I love the way that Ford has done the trim and all the little highlights of the orange. Really, really cool, especially down here where you're gonna have your phone and all that stuff. Really cool what Ford has done. As you can see, we have little passenger airbag off, a little light here that's indicator that's really, really nice. I really love the way this is little big, a little, little small pocket here. Let's go ahead and do the glove box. Got plenty of room there. You can see all the new stuff in there. Since this truck has only got 15, 19 miles on it, so it's a pretty, it's pretty a brand new truck. A little bit of that soft. It's, it's obviously it's hard plastic, but it looks it looks really interesting. <laughs> it looks like a styrofoam or something like that, but I, I like it. Here we have your eight inch uh, Sync 4 system. I believe it's Sync 4. It might be a Sync 3, considering that the Maverick or the Bronco Sport still has Sync 3. This might be Sync 4, guys. I'll put that information for you guys. But this is a simple eight inch screen. Still really nice. For audio, of course, we got a phone apps that you can do we could add a device here we got settings here as you can see we got sound clock bluetooth all kinds of things and it's very quick to the touch we got a wi-fi hotspot as well here display all kinds of great things you can do this is also has over the over the air updates if we go to the audio really nice song but it's got a little it's got a base six speaker system which is not bad doesn't sound bad at all you can go to a 10 speaker Megan Olsen if you go to the uh, library I think a lot that we have manual controls here for the radio tune in a lot of stuff for your hazards here we have of course your AC outlets and these are have cool airish accents as well down here we have a one sony ac which is automatic we got seat heaters as well for each front seat and we also have a heated steering wheel that's great to have down here we have two usb connections we have the orange pad here to put your phone there's this out there's a place to put your phone there as indicator but it's not it's not a, a wireless charging pad there's some more uh like you see i got my phone here you can put your phone there easily here we have a couple of cup holders and it's just kind of got a bluish tone as well to this uh, trim here on the bottom of your deck here so you got your little dial up to, for your gears here we have parking brake here we have your your modes we have different as you can see we got this little bit about six uh, inch display here which is really cool you got all the different modes you can do normal we got haul and tow slippery we have mud and rut sand normal tow and haul on so it'll go, go of course if you go to the turn one you get a couple of more you know, off of off-road modes there now continue over here we got basically your truck control we got your brake hold we got your automatic engine on and off when you come to a light and of course we get hill descent as well a little more pocket here as you can see there and if we raise your armrest here you got a little more extra room there but there's no connections there at all really, really nice the way it feels it's nice and soft overall a great interior that for has done really nice everything everything's well placed well laid out i mean if you're not a fan of hard plastics obviously this is hard and of course if you go to the ladder model you're gonna get leather on the kind of stuff but this is a really nice trim i really like it the steering wheel feels excellent in your hand really nice and nice leather we got no we got no pedals or anything like that we just got controls for cruise control and controlling the center screen here as you can see we can 
to go through those menus we got like an off-road a uh, little bit of uh, information there we got intelligent all-wheel drives so that you know what where the traction is we have also tire pressures trip one trip odometer fuel economy radio and all kinds of good settings you can do we're going to leave it on off-road mode we have a digital speedometer there along with your analog gauges you can see we got an analog tech and speedo uh your fluid gauges there and we have a little bit i don't know if you can see it but the camera will catch up but we have a little cool like a graphic here like an off-road graphic with a road really really nice but a really nice. unique really nice interior everything's here your fingertips your audio controls everything here is really, really works well your radio controls here are right at your fingertips really really nice ergonomics to this ford all right let's go ahead and uh, get on the road before we go on let's go ahead and check out the reverse camera let's pop here our little gear and uh, the camera has got good quality graphics it, it is kind of light and it's kind of tough to see but the graphics are really nice uh, we do have some trajectory lines as you can see i'm showing out the wheel and I don't know if we have if we, we have sensors in the back. I'm not sure to be honest. We have a little button here you can uh, put uh, near the camera to your tow hook, your tow hitch. Probably don't have any sensors, but at least you got some trajectory lines and a good camera as well. So let's go ahead, guys, and go and head out and go out for a drive. So really nice the way this feels. So obviously, if you guys are driving a truck, this guy you can definitely see the hood. But obviously it's very small it's got some pretty good size windscreen it's like a miniature f-150 to be honest very much like if you start it up it feels like you're driving an escape or a ford bronco sport right off the bat all right uh, so we are in normal mode and we're about to head out and test drive this ford maverick and see how good this baby feels got some ac going because it's quite hot you can see guys it's 97 on the temperature gauge there but I like about this engine, it's got really good torque. I uh, really love this little engine. I think it's the best one to get. I mean, if you want to feel much, you have to go to the hybrid version, but obviously if you want a little bit of good peppiness, uh, this is the engine to have. Um, let's go ahead and go this way. Of course, if we give a little gas there. Yeah, it's got, you can feel the torque really nice torquing yes yeah it gets out it goes pretty quickly responsive responsive uh, eight speed as well now as you can see i just saw that this thing was uh, tugging me at the at the steering wheel that means we have uh, all the core pilot 360 on which kind of monitors your road and that you're staying in your lane this thing was saying that i was off my lane so <laughs> fairly quiet ride so far let me just adjust the mirrors here a little bit of course, this is equipped with the FS4 package. You have a little bit tougher, a little bit more off-road to suspension to this one. But it overall feels nice. It's a very smooth ride so far. Obviously, the road's pretty nice right now. We'll get to some rougher roads in a few, rougher spots in a few moments. But overall, I really like the way this uh, Bronco Sport. It still feels more like an SUV. There is a little bit of slight body roll, but it still feels pretty stable, to be honest. I like it. doesn't feel anything. It uh, feels definitely a little more agile and... Uh, you know much smaller and more capable than for example an f-150 but i like it i mean this thing feels small i mean obviously you can tell you're higher up in the ground so obviously you can treat it like a little sports car but i like the way this feels this is the first time i'm riding an fx4 package maverick so this is the first time you know really i like the suspension it doesn't feel by any means of course we got independent rear suspension on this one so you're gonna not have any that type of hoppiness or that a solid axle gives you so this is more stable platform on the road so of course if you turn on your turn signals that uh you know the force stability is not gonna let you hey you're going to run you know, it doesn't pull or tug at you but um no i like the way this feels the brakes have a good feeling too good power yeah this, this feels agile you can tell us lightweight and of course if we give a little bit of power to this two liter motor it goes you can see it has good acceleration good little torque yeah it goes pretty on quickly really like this Ford, uh, this 2-liter EcoBoost engine. You can feel those 280 pound-feet of torque really pushing you and really enjoying it. But overall, so far, the suspension in terms, it does feel a little, little bit, uh, you know, it's a little bit on the stiffer side. That's because, of course, it's just more tuned to off-road and it's a little small pickup. So definitely it's going to have that little bit of more of a truck suspension to it. But it's still very stable. It does not feel at all like the uh, like an F-150 with no FX4. This is a really nice you know, you can feel the the, the, the Maverick just sitting down on the road. Uh, even at this speed, if you want to do a bit of handling, it's still, yeah, it goes this point. It's really nice. The steering wheel has a good uh, feeling to it. It doesn't have, does not a ton of feeling to it, but you can definitely, it goes, it's pretty, uh, pretty pointy and goes where you pointed at, which I like. Not a lot of play in the steering. And overall, I mean, the visibility is low. The, the cow is sitting low and you got good visibility all around. 
Um, we got, of course, blind spot detection mirrors as well, all kinds of things here. So we got the optional uh, Ford 360 here, the co-pilot. So you got all kinds of things helping you out, your camera, and all kinds of sensors helping you brake, and all that kind of good things that Ford gives you with a Ford uh, the co-pilot 360. But really nice, the way this feels, uh, the brakes feel nice, nice and progressive, good strong pedal. The more you give them, the more brakes you have. That's what I like about the pads on Fords. I know they have really good feeling and confidence inspiring. So let's go, nobody coming. But I really like this uh, this Ford Maverick, really feels good. If we give a little bit of acceleration here, oh yeah. You can tell that four-wheel drive system just uh, gets you in there. Yeah, it's got some good strong and it doesn't feel heavy by any means. Wow, this thing feels nice, oof, yeah. It still feels sporty, to be honest. This thing feels, of course, you're in a little pickup shop, but the mind says I'm in a, you know, Ford Bronco Sport or something like that. But I really like the way the, the this, this little truck gives you the feeling of it. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys are liking this type of POV review, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. If you guys have, if you own one, a Maverick or something like that, let me know how's it been, how you like it, how the utility has been. Obviously, this is a small pickup truck. A lot of people think this might not be as, as utilitarian as it would be, but I think a lot of people will enjoy this kind of truck, and of course, this will probably fit in your garage easier than an F-150. Uh, but I really like it. This thing feels nice, and if you got those off-road tires, you can take this off pretty much anywhere. Uh, you like and uh, really nice i mean this got a force got a lot of accessories to these things in terms of off-road and things you can buy for it i really like this ford maverick so let me know what you guys think of this 2023 ford maverick now as i mentioned this engine is going to be the standard engine for 2024 for 2023 now you have to pay for the uh, hybrid engine i think it's not bad at all i mean considering that you know if you want some some little more hybrid you have to pay a little extra but oh well that's the, the way things will go but uh in conclusion fantastic little truck drives very well very quick it's got some good handling it got plenty of abilities to tow and obviously i haven't towed or anything like that with this truck so i couldn't tell you i couldn't know that you know what and then the turning radius is pretty pretty nice let's go ahead and put the reverse camera as you can see i don't know if gonna, the camera's gonna capture it well but got some really nice trajectory lens and uh, easy to back up really nice clear graphics to that let's go put this back in park but uh there we go guys 2023 ford maverick xlt with the fx4 package really nice handles fantastically writes really nice obviously it's a little type a little stiffer than a regular uh, for example bronco sport but that's expected of a little pickup truck lots of abilities almost forty thousand dollars i think but for 35 is a good deal considering the power the efficiency the size of this thing and the abilities to tow four thousand pounds i think you cannot go wrong with this four maverick so let me know what you guys think of it i appreciate every one of you uh describing if you haven't done so guys please subscribe help out the channel and uh i think everybody who has made it this far in the video if you have thank you so so very much you guys have a fantastic day afternoon or evening wherever you are and we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video take care Bye bye